Well guys, it's been a little over, over a month since my last upload and well, since then, things have been a little different uh, for everybody. And right off the bat, I just wanna say I hope everyone's being safe and taking this thing, or have been taking this whole COVID-19 thing seriously. Uh, I do think that we are possibly uh, maybe looking at some brighter days ahead. I, I believe that, so that's good. But yeah, so uh, I haven't really had a lot to film. We have gone camping a couple of times just to practice our social distancing out in the woods and you know getting away from everything, which has been great. So I thought today I'd kind of show you what it is that we take along with us in our uh, camping tote that I got and I showed you guys and just kind of go through what we keep in the truck and I mean why not let's kill some time all right all right come on Okay, so here we are in our little makeshift, uh, well it's actually a really awesome gym that we have in our basement and we can do everything that we need to since obviously all the gyms and wellness facilities have been closed for a good reason. So let's play what's in the box. So. These are in no particular order by the way. I have no idea what's gonna be coming out of here first, second, third, or last. So right out of the bat, we have the uh, Marmot Tungsten 3P, three person tent. This is a great tent. I have a video on it. If you haven't seen it, just check it out. Um, it's a comparison video of the, this one, the Marmot Tungsten 3P, three person, and the MSR Hubba Hubba two person backpacking tent. You can see the difference in packaging size so obviously this one's a much larger I'm gonna take up a lot more space in the box compared to this guy can fit in your backpack hence the name backpacking tent so we have a tent working on you know setting up the whole rooftop tent on the truck which is the the goal but it's kind of expensive so I gotta work my way to that point. Gotta have this little egg crate mat. Uh, this one's a Thermo Rest Z Light. I think you can get these at Walmart. I know you can get like the the one just below this, the, the slightly cheaper version of this at Walmart. But you can order this offline, Amazon or anything else for that matter. But it does come in handy. I mean, we got these uh, for kind of a quick fix type deal. We didn't want to not have any type of padding but I'll probably end up buying one of those inflatable mats just because they are compactable and take up less space and probably do a little bit better job. But this ain't bad. I mean, this fits in the box and it's great sleeping in the uh, ground tent. So, got us a mat. Uh, all right, so here is a rubber mallet. Now, this is not important. You don't have to have this. I just throw it in there because it makes driving the uh, tent stakes in the ground a lot easier sometimes. If the ground's hard, this helps out. These guys, all right, we got two of these. These are pillows, camping pillows, and they work great. And they're, they just unfold and pack, pack in within themselves. So if I can get one out and show you kind of how it works. Basically, they you, you just unfold them and then you fluff them up, you know? Fluff your pillows up. And you can kind of feel the foam inside there. Uh, I think mine, the blue one, wasn't as fluffy as the red one. I'm not gonna do this one, but uh, they take up hardly, you know, here it is right here. Don't take up a lot of room and they're great if you like, Forget your actual pillow, these come in handy. 
Not sure where she got these, but we got them before we went on a honeymoon camping trip in California. And check them out. They're not that expensive at all, I'm sure. So, a couple of, couple of pillows. Got a hammock. So this little lantern right here uh, is super cheap. I think you can get it at Walmart or obviously online. It's called the Atomic Beam. Bulbhead.com. It's got magnets, magnets, it's got hooks. It's really bright. It comes in handy, you know, if you don't want to just carry around flashlights, headlamps, which we do have. But a little lantern. Uh, you can open it halfway or a little bit all the way around. Just hang it in your tent. It's produces a lot of light. We got an REI 55 degree, uh, 55 degree, what do you call these things? Cooper, what, what, do, you, what do you call this? Sleeping bag. <laughs> this one comes in a nice little carrying pouch. So, that guy. And it fits in here really nicely because it's not very thick, so you can pack it in pretty easy. I'm not going to undo it. But this one obviously is the one I use for like warmer weather. I used it, I think, the other night when we went camping. It's pretty warm, so no need for the heavy duty. I always try to keep a, like a light, lightweight, a heavier weight just in case it gets cold in here. So. Got this one on sale at REI, I believe. Helio set. A Kelty Cosmic Down. This one's a 25 degree. I got this one for Ashley two or three Christmases ago. I'm not real sure, but it's been great. Uh, probably the best one that we've personally bought. It's a mummy style bag, wraps around your head, 20 degrees. Works great for her. She's uh, pretty tall. I want to say she's like 5'8". Could be off on that. But anyways, uh, it's, it's done really good. I've, I've even used it before. I've slept in it before. So, another sleeping bag. And we have this old guy. It's just like, you know, one of the old sleeping bags that you would get as a kid or something. Uh, it's not really a mummy style. It does zip up all the way, but we use it kind of as a base layer inside the tent. Just mostly for padding and cushion and stuff like that. So. But I keep it in there just in case. Whoops, sorry. And then this, which I'll probably take out now that it, I don't think it's gonna be getting uh, very cold anytime soon. Uh, definitely, I used it in the, the video that I explained about the camping tote that night, because it did get down to like 35 degrees or colder. But I think it's a zero, it's, West. I don't know, my good friend gave it to me. I keep it in there, it's awesome. Very thick, very comfortable sleeping bag. Packs down nicely with the straps and all, so. We definitely have enough sleeping bags. All right, and then I have this Oakley backpack that I bought years ago, just because I wanted a, a pretty decent backpack um, back in the day. Ended up getting this one that I've kept and used for lots of different stuff. But I'll show you what I got in there now. Keep all our cooking stuff in there. But I got this little guy last, I don't know how long ago it's been that I actually got this, it was a Christmas gift. And I was like, I'm never gonna use this. But it came in really handy the other day when we were camping. It kept the eggs nice and cold, safe and secure. And eggs and bacon on the riverbank was fantastic. So I've got this little guy for my eggs. Always keep a little bit of uh, cooking spray. All right, now this is my backpacking camping stove system or whatever. It's the MSR wind burner, one liter. Um, there's a larger version, but this was a gift. It was the one I wanted and it was a gift. And so there was no real need for me to, to get the larger version or whatever, but this is a really cool system. There's lots of videos out there on it. I'm sure you've seen it if you haven't already. Basically it's all in one, it's the pot, the burner, and you can keep a little uh, canister of fuel in there. And it, it all compacts into this one uh, little pot thing and it has a handle so you won't burn yourself when your water's boiling. It's got a little pour top right here. It has built-in measurements on the inside so you can see 
how much water you're pouring and whatnot. And in here, uh, this, my pan, it goes specifically with the wind burner cooking stove from MSR. This pan's from MSR. They made the bottom specifically to fit on the inside of the wind burner so it won't come loose or whatever. This thing's been great, man. It, it wasn't that expensive, but a little folding handle. Pack it up nice and neat. Unfold it, and there you go. But, I mean, bacon, we've cooked everything in here. Steaks, eggs, bacon, sausage, hamburger patties. Um, you name it, we've we've cooked it in here. We used it all during our trip on in California when we spent two weeks camping out there. I've, I've been really impressed with this. I'm really glad I got this. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how this sets up now. Basically, it's pretty cool, it's pretty easy. It comes with a little stand. This is the actual burner itself. Focus on here. It has this built-in wind protector. I think there's a new model out now. Uh, new model, newer model, better model. I don't know. It's the burner. Keep a little canister of fuel in here. And then this is your pot. I also have a coffee press for mine. Take your little legs. <laughs> little legs, just like mine. Okay, and you want to put your fuel in there nice and secure. It has little notches, built-in notches, okay? There's like three little notches for bigger, for bigger, bigger canisters and smaller canisters, whatever, you can do it all the same, but. Put it in there. Next up, your burner. Screw it in, like so. That's literally it. You get a match or a lighter. You light the top, turn your gas on, obviously. Light the top and it has a little glow ring letting you know that it's actually burning and working or whatnot. A little throttle response here on the side so you can increase and decrease the amount of fuel. You wanna boil some water, set that in there like that. Lock it in place. Put your lid on and you're good to go. Now with the pan, pan works the exact same way. I mean, it comes off pretty easy, but one, it's like, it actually will sit down in there. Obviously, I, you know, me, I got some MSR utensils. Got a couple of different things here, spatulas and whatnot. Little scoop, spatula, fork. I got a fork and spoons and all kinds of good stuff in here. I got it all from MSR because I just wanted to keep it all the same. So that's pretty much it. Obviously, we have a cooler. We put the food in, keep it nice and cold for at least for a couple of days. Maybe one day I'll get a Dometic fridge or something like that. But for now, this is our camping setup. We have been camping quite a bit lately just because of everything that's been going on. It's been nice to get out, just go find a nice peaceful spot, spend the night, spend two nights, whatever. It's been really great. So I wanted to make a video just trying to keep things going along the channel. Hey, if you stayed to the end, I appreciate it. If you haven't already, subscribe, like, give me a thumbs up. It would help me out a lot and the channel. But I do appreciate you watching and hey, more videos to come. We'll see you in the next one.